good morning hope you have an amazing day guys and um, in today's video I want to reply a couple of subscribers they asked me to they like to make a more crispy pizzas so I'm gonna give you a couple of tips if you like making crispy or super crispy pizzas and uh, so just very careful um, for those tips uh, if you want to make this type of pizza I would recommend to say Neapolitan pizza because there wouldn't be Neapolitan pizza with all these uh, tips I want to give you they are a different style of pizza let's call it like that so yeah be ready we're going to the in the market and then i give you all tips to make your pizza more crunchy crispy a little bit uh, details about that and uh, you're gonna get your pizza more crispy if you like crispy pizzas and uh, yes yeah, so we, we're gonna make it now we're gonna start it now and then be ready and then I'm going to tell you what you need to do to make your pizza crispy. See you soon. Okay guys, so um, I'm gonna give you a couple of tips how to make your pizza crispy or extra crispy. Uh, because it's been requested, you know, crispiness is something like in our brain. Uh, chips, crisps of bread, anything crispy, it really enjoy the brain, it's, we love the crispiness. Uh, so I'm gonna give you some tips to make your also pizza crispy as well. So let's start with the flour. Flour and type zero, double zero, Manitoba flour, they all good to making pizza and also making a great um, crispy pizza. If you do sourdough pizza as well, it's got more chance as well to make more crispiness of your pizza. Also, when you make your own mix of the dough, if you like, you can add a little bit of whole grain flour. That's gonna help you a little bit to put 10% of whole grain flour on your mix. Or little bit, 10% as well, also semolina on your mix. That's also another tips to gonna help you to make your pizza more crispy. Now, obviously, olive oil, it really helps you to put more crispiness of your pizza as well. So a little bit of olive oil, 5% of olive oil on your pizzas is going to help you to make uh, your pizza more crispy. I'm going to tell you something also bizarre now. What's up? You're right, yeah? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah? You want to be in camera? No, not really. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, there is some people, let's leave in some bakery shops, they put some flour oil it makes the bread very crispy that's why pizza are but it really does crispiness on the bread so also in the pizza another thing when you stretch your pizza say molina is a great tool to make your pizza crispy if you like a slightly more crispy as well you can use uh, extra coarse say molina so it's a bit thicker so I'm gonna mix my semolina with that semolina. I'm gonna give you an example. Last things, the cooking temperature of your oven. So for example, if you use wood fire oven, if you wanna keep a little bit more crispy your pizza, instead of 400 degrees, it has to go low, a little bit low flame, like now, maybe 350. Uh, it's not including your normal oven in the house, so keep it the same temperature because it's low. But if you use gas, oven electric oven so try to reduce just slightly the temperature so now I'm gonna make one pizza and just to make a bit crispy some customers ask me can you do well cook more crispy so what I do the pizza I'm gonna show you now and we're gonna make a pizza and we're gonna make sure so when someone has me they want to more cook or more crispy I'll show you what you need to do So what I said, what I was said before, guys, please. Uh, if you may want to like make this kind of crispy pizza, so it's not really Napolitan style pizza because Napolitan style don't put olive oil. They're not really crispy. You call it whatever name, another name, crispy pizza, whatever. So don't put names which is not. Uh, it's not really those style of pizzas. Okay, you don't want to confuse with a 
people say, oh, but that's not the way to cook in pizza. Some people like crispy, some people like more soft. It's really up to the person. I like crispiness on my pizza, to be honest. Okay, so now I make this just this margarita. The oven is no, it's no high flame, so you don't want extremely high flames. And that's pizza, basically. If you normal pizza, cook one minute, so that's gonna cook probably in a minute and a half. I'm gonna try to put far from the flame, like like when you cook in a calzone, far from the flame. To give the pizza to get a little bit more crispy. Some people call it biscotto pizza, biscuits pizza. That may be very, very uh, crunchy. So, uh, really up to the, the, the taste of your pizza. There's nothing wrong. If you like to do it that way, do it that way. If you like to make Napolitan style, don't put any olive oil and don't get that crispy and stuff like that. Okay. So, that's very clear to say that. Otherwise, it's gonna be confused and stuff. That's your piece already, sir. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. So the, the pizza you can see cook has been a lot temperature. So I'm gonna repeat again. So wood fire oven, electric oven, gas oven, you can reduce slightly your temperature. If you cook pizza your normal oven at home, just keep the same temperature. It's already low temperature. Okay. So basically low temperature is gonna make your pizza more crispy because it's low. It's a longer time to cook in. And that's I want to give you all these details for you guys because they, they ask me what's, why the pizza is not crispy, some people want a crispy pizza. So I'll give you all these little details. So the olive oil helps, semolina helps, all grain flowers help. If you make sourdough pizza as well, it's gonna probably have a more chance to get crispy. Even if you do poorly so or bigger, you can make crispy pizza. But if you follow these little oh, tips, you're gonna get absolutely great result of crunchiness and crispiness. I can see already that's gonna be a, a very crispy for the oven is low temperature as well so it got extra time to cook. Okay. So the pizza is not bad, you, know, you don't want to burn your pizza a bit too long to get too dry as well, otherwise it's, it's horrible. But you can see, come close to the camera. You can see that pizza is nice and crispy. Even when you cut, the sound of the crunchness. You can see there, look the pizza. Um, that's where you can get crispy pizza as well. You know, it's still okay. And I'm gonna try stay firm as well. Look how crispy is that. Now it's quite hot. Maybe when I eat, you're gonna see the crunchiness. So guys, that's got a couple of tips for you if you like to make a, a crispy pizza or extra crispy as you prefer. Those are little tips for the people who like crispiness. Hope you like this video guys, I know it's a bit funny. And leave the comments below if you got any questions. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of questions about it. Yeah, and uh, thanks for watching and see you at the next video.